Hello everybody, hope you all are doing well. My name is Sajid and today's video is going to be my non-fiction November TBR. If you don't know what non-fiction November is, I will leave the announcement video in the description down below as well as up above in the cards. Make sure to go and check out all of this video to learn more about the month. But essentially, it's basically a month-long reading event that happens in November, obviously, where we read non-fiction. Or at least we read more non-fiction than we would usually do. Every year for the challenge, there's four one-word prompts, so I personally plan on trying to read at least one book for each prompt. And I also plan on reading books that are by Muslim women because this entire year has kind of been the year of Muslim women for me when it comes to the books that I've been reading. So I figured that it would just be fitting for me to center my nonfiction November around a particular theme, said theme being books by Muslimas. The first book that I'll be reading is for the prompt design. And this book is a book that centers not just on Muslim women, but on Muslim women and a bunch of other women and non-binary people throughout history. But it is written by a Muslim woman, and that is Modern History Stories of Women and Non-Binary People Rewriting History by Blair Imani. So I picked this book for design simply because I think it has a gorgeous design. The illustrations were done by Monique Lee, and it's a collection of like, I don't know, I guess anecdotes about famous women who have contributed something to their societies and their communities within modern history, so within recent decades. So most of the women in here, I'd say with a few exceptions, are still alive, which is pretty cool. Sometimes when we try to honor famous and wonderful women in history, it's usually like Joan of Arc or somebody who died like 15 million years ago. Obviously, a lot of the women that are centered in here and talked about in here are Muslim women, which is something that I do appreciate. And for that reason, and given the fact that it is written by a Muslim woman, I think that this book would fit with my theme of reading books by Muslim women for this month. The next prompt is sport. Now, if you know anything about me, me and sport we don't mix we we never had that kind of history we was never friends i did end up finding a book that's by a muslim woman about sports so i figured i'd read that and that is proud by ibti haj muhammad if you don't know who ibti haj muhammad is she is an american fencer and to be quite honest i have no idea what this book is about i assume it's about her life and her experience fencing and sort of being i think she's one of the first muslims or, or hijabis to be able to enter the field of fencing and sort of take up space there, which is really cool. So I'm guessing that this book talks about her own personal experience with that, or maybe it's about her life in general. I don't know. Either way, I'm excited to read it. I have it on audio, so I'm actually going to be listening to the audiobook, so I'm looking forward to that. The next book that I'll be reading is for the prompt of True, and that one is We Have Always Been Here, a queer Muslim memoir by Samra Habib. So Samra Habib is originally from Pakistan, and she grew up in the Ahmadiyya sect of Islam, which is a subsect of Islam that is often persecuted in certain countries, especially Pakistan, by extremist Islamist groups. So she eventually had to flee to Canada with her family at the age of 10. So this book is about her experience, it's about that, but it's also about being a queer Muslim and what that means for her and how she has come to be affirmed in that particular identity, which I think is so amazing. The reason why I picked this challenge for true is because it's often seen as untrue or, you know, like a false dichotomy to be both Muslim and queer. It's seen as contradictory for any person of faith to also be proud of their queerness. And I think that the title says it all. We have always been here. Queer Muslims have always been here. Queer Muslims have always existed. So to me, this book is kind of writing against the tide, the, the big narrative, the mainstream idea that we push in Islam that being queer is wrong, that being gay is wrong, that being LGBT is a sin. A book like this is so incredibly important because we have the voice of a young woman saying, no, you know, this is this, this does not reflect our reality as Muslims because as Muslims we have all sorts of people existing in our communities and we need to find ways to better account for that reality. I really appreciate the fact that this book exists and I do look forward to reading it. The last prompt I think is voice and for that one I'm going to go with Daring to Drive by Manal al-Sharif, the young Saudi woman who stood up to a kingdom of men. So if you didn't know, up until I believe it was September 2018, it was actually prohibited for, for women in, in Saudi Arabia to drive. And Manal al-Sharif was one of those women who was very active and instrumental in the campaign to fight for women's right to do that. So this book is about her story. I know she went through quite a lot. She ended up having to leave Saudi Arabia for her own sake and now resides in Australia. So I'm interested to see what this book has to say about her experience and about who she is as a person. And fun fact, Manal Al-Sharif along with Ibti Haj Muhammad are actually both featured in modern history. So that's pretty cool. In fact, I think there is like a picture of the book. Yeah, there's like an illustration of the, of the book, of one of the books that I'm reading 
in one of the books that I'm reading. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, I'm going to end the video off here in the comment section down below. I'd love to know if you've read any of these books and if you have any thoughts on them. All of that being said, thank you all ever so much for watching. I hope you have a productive November. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, do what you have to do. And until next time, inshallah, keep reading.